Aloha, welcome to Healthcare in Hawaii. I'm your host, Josh Green, Senator from the Big Island ER Physician. Today I'm joined by a good friend, Dr. Scott Miskovich, who's a family practitioner, uh, trained in the East, grew up in Pennsylvania like me, went to Harvard and Yale and Cornell, actually all three. He was become an expert in an area that's very important to our state, and that is the prescription drug epidemic. Uh, pills are being prescribed at record rates across the country. In Hawaii, like other states, we've had very serious concerns about overdose from prescription drugs. We've become so worried about it because in, I guess, an easy to uh, review statistic, more people died last year from overdoses on pain pills than people died from car accidents. So just two years ago, I reached out to some colleagues and friends, Scott being my most expert uh, colleague in this area, to look at solutions. We wanted to know what legislative solutions would be necessary, what medical discipline solutions would be necessary to implement in our state to help protect uh, young and old from this major problem. So Scott put together a work group of experts. He's gonna talk about that today. He's gonna talk about solutions where Hawaii can lead the country. Scott, good to see you. Good to see you, thanks for having me. You bet. Okay, so um, let's cut right to the chase. You really have uh, uh, done a very deep dig and dive right into this problem. Explain to us uh, why we're talking about prescription drug overdose issues. Well, you already alluded to a key statistic that we all know, that we now have more people that are dying from overdose. <coughs> Excuse me. Problem. More people dying from overdose from um, prescription drugs than we have from car accidents in the state. Wow. Excuse me, I'm gonna no problem. grab a drink here. Yeah, and as Scott gets a sip, I wanted to share that um, when you see numbers like that, and you wonder why is the medical community letting that happen, uh, we really uncovered many, many reasons uh, that nationally were having this crisis. <coughs> One statistic that came to light was that though we have only 4% of the world's population in America, as many as 80% of all pain pills were being consumed by our citizens. So when you look at this problem as a doctor and an expert, what do you see? Well, we've, we've become a society that looks for immediate gratification. I mean, we're a hardworking country and people uh, want some results now. And back in the turn of the century, around 2000, there was a big push that pain we called the fifth vital sign where, where people were pushed to say, you've got to pay attention to patients' pain. And then we had a big push from the pharmaceutical companies that were making statements that some of the pain medicines that were newer and cutting edge were not a problem. They weren't addictive and they weren't a problem. So the physicians were led through the experts at the time to say, hey, it's not a problem. Give people pain medicine. It's going to just take care of their problem. As a return, Americans said, okay, my pain's not as bad. I'm still working. But the problem was addiction. Uh, dependence and addiction became a huge issue. Have you, 